Hi, this is Deborah Cohen with your Pilates mat work for beginner older adults like me. I want to start by saying that maybe, maybe some of you have had COVID like I just recently got over. And in my case, at least, it left me with like zero strength and uh, balance issues. So, and cognitive, slower cognitive abilities. But I know that doing this workout with the Joe Pilates way, after doing it four times a week for three months, your body will reset and you will be balanced. And I'm talking to myself when I say this. You will be stronger, you will be of sound mind. And uh, so I also want to tell you that if you are like me starting from the beginning of this class, because I'm learning to teach these individual exercises, there's 34 of them and in all. Some of them, which I remember doing when I was a teenager in high school, <laughs> We were used to lay on our backs and do a sit-up to touch our toes. Uh, that is one of the exercises here. It's called something else. I think it's called the roll-up. But I want to encourage you to try this class, even if you can't do the roll-up anymore, which I'm in that place because I will offer modifications if you're not able to do them. And we're just going to do what we can in this class. It's not like we're comparing ourselves to the person next because we're all jocks or whatever you call it, the female version. So this is a class where we accept each other where we're at and we work together in a group even though we are working individually, including myself. So if if you've been a little bit hesitant about joining a class like this because you don't want people to know that you can't do a sit-up, <laughs> well, neither can I <laughs> right now. But I, I'm going to work at it, and so can you. So the, the two, this is video number nine for my reference, the two... Uh, individual exercises that we're going to learn today. So if you want to start practicing them at home before I actually start a class in Clearwater, Florida, the end of 2023, or however long it takes me to get ready to teach it. The first one is rolling like a ball. And if you're looking at the picture, you can see that you start seated on your mat with your legs together, meaning adducted. And it's important to learn the terminology so that when I'm calling out these terms, which are, is the vernacular for Joe Pilates, you know exactly what you need to do. So that's another reason for you to learn these videos before you actually come to class so you're familiar with the terminology. And so you see in the diagram, she's with her hands, palms up, face holding onto her calves with her legs lifted, she's sitting on her sit bones. And when you take a breath in, you do an imprint, which is another term you need to know. In my earlier days teaching aerobics, it used to be called a pelvic tilt. But in this class, it's called imprint. So that in order to do an imprint, you have to exhale or curve. You're curving your spine in a C shape. Then you lift your legs parallel to the floor, toes pointed, roll back on your back, but you're hold, keep, keep holding on to your legs. Make sure you don't roll onto your neck. You want to only roll back onto your shoulders and back. And then exhale when you roll up back to the start, which is the start is the picture that you're seeing, seated on your sit bones hands hugging your calves. So your head does not touch the mat. Now, what you can do to sort of get accustomed to the feeling, if you have balance issues like me, is just 
in that position, just gently rock back and forth before you actually attempt to roll all the way back on your back. But again, not on your neck, not on your head. And this is called rolling like a ball. All of your abs and all of your back muscles work in this exercise. And we do 10 of these, 10 repetitions. In the class, everything is done very slowly so that you have more muscle control instead of using the advantage of gravity, which doesn't do anything for your muscular endurance. We need to do things with intention, slowly, with the right breath. And again, as I mentioned in a previous video, I've noticed a lot of instructors that teach Pilates, they leave out what your breath is supposed to be doing. The breath component is very important because, for example, every time you exhale, you go into imprint. <clears throat> and if you're not aware of that because the instructor never told you, then you might be breathing in when you're rolling up, when you're actually supposed to be breathing out. And it's hard to maintain an imprint rolling up if you don't exhale. You're fighting against your own body, and that can be very non-productive, just to, to say that much. All right, now the second one is single leg lift. And you start laying on your back face up. And then you're going to go, her legs start, both legs are bent into what they call tabletop. So you the tops of your shins are like a tabletop. You start lifting both legs with pointed toes in this single leg stretch. Note you lift up your head and shoulders, but you keep an imaginary apple under your chin so you're not f flexing your neck. Your neck instead you think of as an extension of your spine. Inhale, so they call that the head nod when you have an imaginary apple or fist under your your chin. That's called a head nod, like your nod. Okay, but when you nod, you don't nod all the way down so your chin touches your chest. That's not a nod. So always do a head nod. Bring your right leg in and both palms facing in touch the right knee so your right knee needs to get approximately above your navel. And at that point, you exhale when your right knee is 90 degrees and the other leg, your left leg, is extended straight out with pointed toes. So it's just alternate knee bends. They call it single leg stretch. And you do eight repetitions. <clears throat> So you inhale to lengthen your legs. They also tell you in this exercise to do staccato breaths. So you're breathing in when you start your head nod laying on your back to begin and bring your right knee over your navel or 90 degrees and then exhale when you alternate legs. So there's a rhythm to it, and I hope I explained that fairly well. But essentially, you're just keeping one leg knee bent 90 degrees while the other leg extends straight out with pointed toes, and you're touching with palms in the bent knee. And work your breath to maintain an imprint with a C-curve in your back without your chin touching. You never want your chin to touch your chest. Keep your body on the mat and just move your legs. This is again where you get control of your uh, abdominals and your pelvic floor. Excuse me, <clears throat> I'm having some issues with my <clears throat> breathing today. But you want to remember to exhale on flexion. So flexion means you're, you're coming forward to touch and maintain an imprint on your spine. And you try to keep your trunk still so the only thing moving are your arms and your legs. 
This is how you keep your core and your pelvic floor strong. So if you're not sure about the breathing, uh, because I'm still learning this myself, so explaining it might not have been 100% clear, you need to go back to the beginning videos where I talk about the breath. That's 101 in this class is the breath. You need to practice the breath with the 100 warm-up. And once you're clear on the staccato breath, which you also do on the 100, then this will become a lot clearer as far as the breathing goes. But just remember that you exhale when you're uh, in flexion. So flexion means to bend. Okay, flexion. My arm is straight. That's an extension. And a flexion is bent elbow in the just to demonstrate. So when your knee is in flexion, you exhale. When you switch knees, you take a quick inhalation and bend the left knee and then the right knee straightens. Okay. <laughs> so I hope you're having fun practicing. If you have any questions, you can leave your comment below. And uh, I hope that you subscribe to this channel so that you know when the classes begin again in Clearwater, Florida. This is Deborah Cohen with Matwork Clearwater, Florida. Thank you for listening. Enjoy the journey.